Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Garden of Bonbon 4, which is a mascot horror game and the fourth entry in the Garden of Bonbon series. And if you've never seen this series before, it involves mascots that really want to eat your pancreas. There is a snail in that castle. Bird. Bird up. Come with me, bird. We're being attacked by a giant turtle. This game literally did the... the whole... The uh, hold shift the sprint thing right off the bat. Oh my god! I thought I thought I defeated you. No one ever dies in this universe. I'm trying to slide along the walls to go faster. The Counter Strike technique. can't fit in here. But you can keep banging, apparently. It's still coming. You lost, by the way. I thought I should just tell you that. Stay there, bird. Up. Press my button. No, bird, stay there. Go for it. Good job. Now give me my bird. Or not, you know, I don't need the bird. It's fine. Bird was only temporary. Drone is forever. What was that, the killer drone switch? You're being dragged very slowly. Listen up, criminal. That whole act of you being unconscious won't work on me. You're a prisoner now. You'll do what you're told without any questions. Understood? Now your first task is very simple. I will ask you yes or no questions, and you'll answer them using the buttons on your left and right. Face no. forward. The button on your right is a yes, and the button on your left is a no. Question 1. Someone locked up all the criminals in the swamp on the level above. Was that you? No. Interesting. Huh. I wonder who Moving did that on. then. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? No. No? Well, consider yourself lucky. That's a crazy one. Third question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? No. That's not what I heard. Well, you heard wrong. Fourth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Actually, no. I thought so. You must have come from the floors above. Fifth question. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? No. Is that thing gonna come out and jump scare me afterwards? Well, you better keep a wider eye on the ceiling. That one strikes from every angle. 
Dick question. Is this a secret tutorial? Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? No. I hope the rest of your answers were as truthful as this one. Alright. Grab your belongings from the back and step out of the room. Okay. My one whole belonging. Are you like a toad? You're kinda ugly. What a waste of time. You don't even work here. No. What on earth are you doing this deep down anyway, partner? You know what? Follow me. We can talk more inside. It's not very safe out here. I actually like it when these type of things are like friendly. It's just like a little change Careful of pace. Here. It's not very sturdy. It's not gonna collapse on me. That's too much of a cliche for this game. Plus, I don't think they have the budget for it. Open the gate! Welcome to the kingdom. It sucks. It's not up to me to decide what to do with your partner. We need to talk to the queen. And when we do, show us me. Nope. Come drone. It's really like a gesture. Your Majesty, I finished interrogating the new captive. And how would you rate the fruitfulness of that interrogation on a scale of one to ten? Ten. Zero. They don't talk much. And I think they came from the surface. The surface? That's a new one. Hmm. Did they say what they're doing down here? I'm afraid not. <sighs> I think I do. A worried parent can spot another worried parent from a mile away. I've heard the screams and the crash from above. You're here in search of your child. I fear you won't find them. Most humans have ceased to come down to this floor for quite some time now. We can help with getting you back up to the upper floors, but allow us to introduce ourselves first. I am Queen Valtzeria, the ruler of the kingdom. Cool. This is Sheriff Toadster, the protector and only other citizen of the kingdom. I don't respect you. I apologize on behalf of both myself and the sheriff for the rough reception. We've all been a little on edge lately. I'm, I'm sure you can understand. Uh, how's the elevator back up doing, Sheriff? Hmm. You don't close the menu during cutscenes. It's missing some crucial parts. Hmm. Three to be exact. Do you know where these parts are? Yes, Your Majesty. I was previously too occupied to go and collect them. The coming hours will be rough for us all. But this is not your battle, parent. A sheriff, accompany the parent and go grab the missing parts. But your majesty, we should be focused on protecting you. You will, once you two get back with the parts in hand. Oh my god, you're gonna die. Alright. You heard the lady. Let's head to the station, partner. You get by too well for someone who doesn't utter a word. You know that? Oh, um, I'm being controlled by a Let's Player. Oh, hey, Bert! Let's see where that gets me. Much of what the Queen has said really downplayed our situation. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble, partner. The Queen's jester has gone rogue. Okay, yeah, I figured. No matter what happens, you must not make the queen laugh. Otherwise, what's in her pouch escapes, and we all die. Is this gonna become Batman? Jester. Don't you make that queen laugh. 
I will make her laugh. Bird. You move too slow. Come on, step it up. Our toad's fast. The three parts of the elevator are scattered across three stations, which we can get to using this old transport system. I believe it's two tickets per rider. Two for me, two for you, and two for little B here. There should be some scattered around here. All right. I mean, there's one here. Tickets, please. One here. Birds, you see any tickets? This is a nightmare. It has to be. I thought I was ready to witness the things down here, but I was severely mistaken. They said the training would be enough. I felt betrayed and have felt scared, but never both at the same time. I should have never put my life in my co-worker's hands. Nope. I've been left behind as they ran away like the cowards they are. And I am left to talk to a piece of paper. Hi! What was that screaming coming from above? What on earth was that thing that approached us? It was like... It was almost like nothing but a massive floating face. The training mail said nothing about that. And definitely nothing but the giggles that seemed to get closer and closer to me. Am I going insane? Probably. Aren't you wanted dead or alive? Cool. Is there more tickets that I need? I wasn't really uh, keeping count, by the way. There's a thing over there. Hey, you! See that bird? That was a joker. So do I have enough tickets? One. Two. Three. Quads. Five. We need one more ticket. Tickets! Free hat. As to avoid similar situations, so as occurred with cases 6 and 13, a slightly different approach than using case 9 under his identity, that being the town sheriff, was taken. And it seems to work exactly as intended. This new approach involved altering the daily schedule of case 9 to mainly consist of watching western movies. Crawl, partner. Cartoons and any all media with a focus on heroic sheriff of an old western town. This lesson to be taught was that sheriffs capture criminals to protect the weak. As of most cases, Case 9 has gained a larger increase in size than most anticipated. But in hindsight, there are only benefits of that. Children to see a strong protector that aspired to be one themselves. The sheriff has, was presented with three hats and he was chosen his favorite. Free hat. Ticket, please. We good? Oh. I see what you're doing there. All aboard. We're going to the yellow world. You know, I get your confusion, partner. I really do. What's a massive bipedal toad with a hat protecting a giant purple kangaroo queen for? After I was thrown down here by your kind like I was trash, I was hopeless, aimless, cold, and miles away from the promised surface. Long story short, I was found and accepted at my lowest. It was then that I declared myself the ultimate protector of the queen. Hey, that thing is like getting way ahead of us. Good-hearted individuals deserve protection. This, uh... It's kind of like one of like, those Disney rides, the trackless ones. We're here, partner. Let's get this over with. There's a lot of things we should get over with. What is this? Part we need should be in the administration room, within the ventilation corridors. But it looks like the door is locked. We just received instructions to ban all work being done in Case 9. We will happily oblige as we do not suspect that Case 9's behavior will change. The LLTT has been contacted. 
To keep these reports up to date, we have included evidence that Case 9 is indeed able to hold himself back from arresting and imprisoning, often fatally, whoever he deems a filthy criminal. He just chooses not to. Case 9 only considers following orders of what he has called his citizens, but remains unknown who he considers his citizen, is Manfira as all of Bonbon's gang members. <laughs> Bonbon's gangs. Yeah. He seemed to at least listen to the order of Case 6 when they were both placed in the same room. Referred to recording 134 for the full transcript and interaction. While Case 9 had to be exited out of the room before he was instructed by Case 6 to do something dangerous, it was the first time Case 9 displayed obedient behavior in months. Okay. Bird, you want to come here? Bird? Don't complain. We all gotta do things we don't like. Now, if you excuse me. Nothing is as precious as spiders. Tell a joke wherever you walk. No. Get the thingy. Yay. Get that one too. Yeah, the snail, the thing. You gotta send me to do all the work, aren't you? Okay. Oh, what? What's happening? You are you sending me to do all the work? Stay That's what. There and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. I'm moving. We're doing the movings. Hi, I'm a hungry snake. Do you have any food? I have a sense of humor. Can you eat that? <laughs> Apparently not. You're not very capable of, uh... You're pretty slow. Can you open this, by the way? You just stabbed it with a... Point, partner. That, my friend, was the gesture I was talking about. A.K.A. Bitter Giggle. He now knows we're not in the kingdom. Let's grab the party, get out of here. It's always the jesters and the clowns, man. They just want to see the world burn. Can sense danger. Bark, bark. Come with me. Wait. I know my enemies. We're being stalked. More so than usual? Interconnected. They make perfect traps. I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out. Rigged. Damn. Brought to you by the letter E. <laughs> so you were supposed to warn me. Something dangerous there. And that's no good. I'm not sure if this is randomized. No good. Yep. Safe. Dangerous. Dangerous. Good. Dangerous? Yep. You gotta be the middle one that's safe this time, right? Toad, get out of my way! Toad! Toad! You predictable spider thing. Nope. Left. Good. Safe. Not safe. Right side. Maybe middle this time. No, left side. 
Окей. Окей. Ну, гад. Свой. Клея. Get the right side first. <laughs> Middle this time or left? Left. Okay. I had a good a general idea of how the the brain was working on programming this. Come on, bird. Okay. Temporary shutdown. The first. Never mind. Temporary shutdown it is. Not really quite sure what we did here. That's the part we need from this section. Let's head back and see if it'll fit. Or is it still dangerous? Like, am I gonna walk down here and be like dead? Come on, bird. God, we still have those big hallways. <laughs> Going in a long walk. Not as bad this time around. I did wonder if the devil took feedback on that. Useless. Just want to get on the thing again? Where are we going now? Green? Or, I, I, we're just not doing anything. Bird's being left like way behind. Hey, we gotta stop there or what? Where are we going? Oh, I gotta stop it manually. Let's head for the elevator to see if the part fits. You're saying with all the ever we're not going in the ever sections? We have to do this We have to come back all the way back? Still doing the walking thing. Look how many miles we have to cross. Alright, let's fix that elevator. To say the new approach that asks cap encapsulating Case 9 of his desired identity is back for it to be an understatement. Perhaps the amount of time this Case 9 schedule that was dedicated to watching Western media was too excessive. While well, Case 9 has fully embraced himself as Bonbon's gang's protector, he has grown to believe that everyone that is not part of the Bonbon's gang is criminal, 
clean out objects with human features, Philly staff and most like a children. Don't know if the last two could be dedicated to help properly catch and prison interrogate criminals, his size or larger. No staff members safe in your case 9, as his methods are simply too violent for a human being to survive. Case 9 has become a real western ship where existing as one will ruin everything. Okay. Alright, we good? Bird. Come on. Perfect. That's one of three. I'll stay here and put everything together. For now, maybe just hang around the place and talk to the Queen when you're ready. I have to walk all the way back to the Queen? Oh my god. There better be like some kind of like cutscene or something. It cuts me out midway. Is the Queen gonna die? I mean, like, who's guarding the Queen right now? The Jester could just come right in here. You have me backtrack four long hallways. I wanted to let you know how much I respect the things you are doing to get your child back. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just admirable. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue key card. While not much, Give it, to me. it is what we consider a symbol of trust. Give it to me. I to announce that you are officially a citizen of the kingdom. Give it to me. Feel free to stay as much as you like, even after you get your child back. The kingdom can now proudly announce that it has reached a population of five. One, I say two. five because a friend of yours showed up while you were away. Wait, who? He was in a damaged state, so I told him to stay in the infirmary. He asked for you, so perhaps you could speak with him when you have time. That's not who I think it is, is it? It is you, Snail. Empty. Empty and dark. Empty, empty. Dear Mommy, we just had the best party ever. Hmm. When the, the key mentioned having many visitors in one day, I knew it had to be you. Listen, whatever happened to me, whatever I tried doing to you, just no, it wasn't actually me. Pretty sure it was you. I was forced to obey without much thought. I tried communicating with you from afar for a reason. Now you know the true reason why. Still, I want to make it up to you. The Queen filled me in on the situation with the elevator. I want to help with that. I feel much more in control now. I'll come help you find the missing pieces of the elevator. I just need to rest for a little bit, and I'll meet you at whatever that station is. Okay. Who's waiting for me? Uh oh. Wake up, buddy. Gone goth on me? Oh. It's you. Yep. Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. I'm too weak to do anything. Saw a keycard up there. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. 
Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. Look where your arrogance got us now. A position where neither of us can get to the children. This is your fault and nobody else's. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. But regardless, I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Oh yeah, I forgot you had that ability. You know your dreams make no sense, right? Oh, hi. So up? You're up again. You sure are a sleepy fellow. Agreed. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected, indeed. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too. Sorry about that. Need nutrients. Eat the blue one. Eat the blue one, give me that. Thank I you. I've never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Jabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall, he's pretty chill. He tries to smash me! Another fair share of altercations. Hate is one of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or previous misery. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives aren't. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab Nab or the Captain can help. Captain? Who? Oh. As expected. What do you expect me to do? I stuck to. What's that sound? It's a train. Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. That. Wait, what? Could be anything. Could be a train. Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? A train? Help a spider train! Show it, child! No action, no, that's a good thing. Eat him. What's, what's going on? You, you guys making out? What? Interesting. Thanks for the tape. So you uh, ready to go, buddy? Where'd you go? Can't help but bunny hop. You know what I mean? You just have an instinct to just bunny hop when you're traveling long distances in games. Or roll. Huh. Hmm. Am I going all the way back? Where have so, you been? 
I've been waiting for a while. Maybe if you didn't make the hallway so damn the next long. The piece that we need should be at the second station, the feeding sector. Let's go. Boop. I feel now is a good time to introduce ourselves, which we haven't done up to this point, if you can believe it. I am Uthman. I worked here before everything came crashing down, literally and figuratively. I can't imagine the stuff you've witnessed down here. Not much, actually. My co-workers and I should have spoken up sooner. Perhaps all of this should have been prevented then. But then again, my co-workers weren't really friends in those last couple of months anyway, so it would have needed some good planning. You ever had those friends that suddenly turn on you for no reason? Yep. To say mine turned on me would be an understatement. They suddenly stopped talking to me. They looked at me like I was some sort of monster. Sometimes I lose my temper, sure, but it seemed excessive. I was and still am confused, to say the least. We're here. Let's get going. Wait, what was that? What was the voice change? What? That, am I hearing things? Wait, get down. No. It's eating fruit. What the? It's higher up in the food chain. That must have been a trap that the sheriff set up earlier. Poor Josh. I can't imagine how confusing this has all been for him. I'm confused! I feel like everyone's wanted dead or alive. That wasn't locked the last time I was here. You need to solve a puzzle. It can be too hard to get it open though, right? I have a feeling it's gonna be hard to get open. What is in here? These are very steep stairs. Practice safe and you'll be okay. Nope. What was I thinking coming down here? I could just hit a locker or an isolated room or something. But you know what, paper? I'm content. When I die here and I have accepted that it's a matter of winning off if, at least my mind will be at ease. I finally got the answer to a question that had me sleepless for weeks. I finally know what's down here, and given that I will probably never sleep again, and even if I somehow miraculously make it out alive after what I've witnessed, I am content. Whatever this establishment was hired to find out about GV, I doubt they ever thought it would be all their workers getting eaten by giant clay animals. Damn. I mean, it opens. That does too. Come here for a sec. Fly there. Good job. Which one am I supposed to go into? Why is there more than one here? Nothing is funny enough. Not in this game. Must practice. Practice makes perfect. List of jokes. A kangaroo, a jellyfish, and a toad walk into a bar. That's it? None of them actually walk. How did the jellyfish get to the sea floor? They took the jelly vader. What do you call surgery being performed by a kangaroo? A hopperation. They're all terrible. Am I the joke? Yeah. Free hat. Wow. You just come in here, steal what's ours, and then leave? Yeah. You humans are all the same. Thieves with no shame. Your greed knows no limits, only controllable for minutes. 
You can have the crown. I couldn't care less about that. I mean, I wasn't giving it back. But can I at least have some applause for my little poem, please? No. Don't listen to that guy over there. All he cares about are his poems. I'll show you something that's actually impressive. What? Is it money? A magic trick. Please just let me go. Open sesame. Later. I think I earned a round of applause for that. Free hat. You know, you pretty much cannot see the hats, they're just so small. Come here. I'll hit that. No, hit it. Don't just stop. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Good job. Did you make it yet? Great. It's a good way to navigate you out, right? Or I just do that. But then you're not gonna. You don't go... Do you go low? Yeah, you fit just fine. Good job. All that for a single key. Now time to walk up the world's longest stairs. Sup? Another door. Doesn't look like the second one takes a key card though. I'm not even sure if I'm solving this correctly, I'm just doing it. And you'll be okay! Okay. We did it, Patrick. We saved the, the city. Piece, there is something I need to do first. I need to hand this imposter over to someone very close to me. You do the honors. He must have gotten very lonely, but I got him a new friend. Now, we wait. I am doing the waiting. Wait, no, Nab Nab. Not Nab Nab. It nabbed it. We can't let Nab Nab take him.
Well, you're a lot. You're a lot faster than me. Hold up. Was anyone else not as fast? Let's do it. No, I don't need a break. I tried fixing you so many times, but you're just unfixable. Enough is enough. Is it? I think you're dying. Need help? Do people die? Free key. I can control it. I know I can. I have a few things I need to do around here. You go back without me. The elevator part should be around here somewhere. Okay. See you later. Oh my god, in the long hallways. Are you the friend? Lonely, huh? Too bad. Now, time to take the whole elevator ride back. I'm assuming they can make us go to Mr. Toad. Toadster. Yep. So I pointed this out in the uh, previous games. You see the artificial length thing to try to get over that sweet two hour mark? Like, you can't do all these sections in a row. You gotta get the thing, go back, put the part back, do the long walk back again. And remember, this loops around the whole area. Like, you don't skip or go past or through things. Uh, you gotta... It has to manually circle all the way around. So when we come back, when it circles around, it's gonna have to circle for those two other areas first, adding to the length, and then going back to the green. Great work, partner. Now I gotta go speak to the queen. Gotta walk all the way back. Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it, and the elevator a little more usable. We're very close to having it fully fixed. I pray for the safety of the children you're looking for. When you do find them, can I ask for a favor? No. Could you try and occasionally come visit? It's been so long since we've had a visitor that isn't trying to harm us. Please do consider my request. Other than that, I don't want to keep you any longer. Great. Also, it appears more of your friends have arrived. If you'd like to go check them. So I saw in the, you know, the whole thing where it previews the, the next game they want to sell, like on the main menu, that the Jester is next. So I'm assuming you die. Uh, and it also looks like it's numbered six. It's not even number five. Like, they skipped five on purpose. This is the first entry to what I will refer to as the Toadster Archives where all information gathered about criminals will be recorded. Criminal number one, the snail, was captured near the front gate of the kingdom while I was on patrol. The 
the snail was captured while hiding in her shell, and has remained hidden since. It was initially thought to be an empty shell husk, until quiet crying was heard coming from within the shell. All attempts to convince the snail to leave her shell have failed. The reason for this extreme distress has not yet been determined, but I have a theory. This criminal ain't from around here, so it's possible that this foreign hostile environment is what's causing this unnatural behavior. More updates soon. Bird. This Up. is the third entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminals numbers three and four, the birds, were captured by being lured in their current holding cells. Their sudden and unannounced appearance within the walls of the kingdom took me by surprise, but they are now safely contained. They seem to be very territorial, as they did not exhibit any hostile behavior as long as I kept my distance from their cell. It also seems that they were frantically looking for something, although I'm not sure what exactly. Since containment, they've remained completely still. I think they might be trying to trick me into getting in to check on them. I'm not falling for that. More updates soon. Over here. This is the second entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminal number two, the teacher, was captured near the elevator that goes down from the third floor, where a human was also captured earlier. Unlike the snail, the teacher was extremely hostile towards me, citing a missing student from her class as the reason she's even down here. Numerous failed attempts to escape were recorded, but it appears she's finally given up. Numerous objects were introduced in an attempt to calm her down, with only a few excess bowling pins seeming to do the job. The teacher has been sitting in a corner since calming down, repeating the sentence, I can't be late to herself, over and over. Truly an interesting case. This is the fourth entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminal number five, the Green Gorilla, was captured by fallen victim to an intricate trap that was designed and set up in the feeding sector by yours truly. So far, the Green Gorilla has been chained, so not too much information has been retrieved. So far today, we've received seven cases in only a few hours. It's very unnatural. Something up above has happened that's causing these cases to end up down here. It hurts seeing familiar faces in this state. But I cannot risk my health to help old friends that may have gone mad. More updates soon. Is there anything else? I already grabbed this, right? Or... Yeah. Because I'm grabbing it again. Anything here for you? Not really. There's one more cell left. Better not be for me. I guess it would be for the Jester, possibly. Exercise. But seriously, why couldn't we have just gotten them all in one go? Boop, 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 like that. Done. Like, Resident Evil in those games perfected the, the... the order of events and access kind of thing. We're here. Oh god, we're here. Begin. Boxes. Couches. This is seating area. Case 14 was moved to a new, her new dwelling this morning, to which she expressed satisfaction but natural nervousness. As per management's request, further research on the phenomenon of Case 14's pouch was conducted, and while the research has provided invaluable. Oh my god, it's full of spiders, isn't it? Invaluable observations, very little in terms of explanation can be confirmed. 
appears that any and all Gavanium grown bodies experience a lot of difficulty leaving the pouch once inside, and especially more so if Chase 14 chooses to hold the pouch shut. Reflexes appear to loosen Case 14's ability to hold the pouch shut at will. The reason for any case's availability of the pouch has been theorized to be the result of some sort of attraction between GV particles when they're within very close proximity, such a, as a body being within the interior of a pouch. Hmm. Fruit. Three games turn around lights out, something in one of the rooms might have changed. I don't even know, memorize no nothing. Bathroom. Good. No. Oh, no change is an option, too. Boxes. Flowers can change. No toilet. Toilet, please. Yay. I can do this two more t well, no, two times two. I can do this four more times. Oh my god. Finally over? Oh, thank god. More time sucking. Oh no, not the physical. Um, hey. <laughs> There's a giant raptor dog. Why is there a giant raptor sheep? Hit this. Hit this. Hit this over here. There we go. There we go. Oh god! Your uh, thing was bigger than I thought. Your hitbox. The button should be on this one. You just do your damn charge. Good, 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 good. Here, this one here. Not that one.
This should be enough distance for you to do your charge attack and not get too close. Hopefully. One more. One more, you damn T-Rex sheep. Come on and hit this button. You know you wanna. Curses, I've hit all the buttons! My weakness! Plarg. Okay. Do you have like a key card or something? Oh, it's a cat. Kitty Saurus. Yacht friends wore at the face of enemies. Ah, I should have recognized it was a cat. Hey, I'm sorry I like this system of communica communication. It's hard to do what we want to do without speaking to each other in private for a suspicious amount. You know how they handle suspicious in this place. What I don't like is having to sometimes leave our messages at this floor. As much as I understand that it is necessary sometimes, I just can't help but feel watched down here. Anyway, I collected the data of all the children currently enrolled in the kindergarten and left them at your desk. I've marked my preferred genome donors and you do the same on the sheet. We can then exclude any students that aren't marked by the both of us and from the smaller pool of candidates we can pick one to proceed with. Not quite waiting for work? Go through here! What's this? Looking for crystals for a crown. Oh boy, let's go get those crystals! We need more crystals! Secret. Everyone just has a reward on them. Or we're done. Joker rip off. I thought the dinosaur would finish you off. But if trapping you will get you out of my way too, then who am I to complain? I'd tell you a very fitting joke, but you humans just never seem to get them. They suck. The closest people to me denied me what I was made to do. People who were genetically programmed to laugh at my every joke! I did some end-of-the-world scenario where whatever's in the Queen's pouch escapes if I make her laugh. But I'm not buying it! I was distraught, and I became dead set on making the ultimate jokester. But after failing time and time again, I realized something. I am the ultimate jokester! There was nobody better to be made, even if by me! With the sheriff occupied, thanks to you, reaching the queen will be a piece of cake! I will go now, because unlike you, my path to having my family back has never been clearer. You suck at trapping people. Joker, get back here. 
Don't you do it. I'll get you after I walk through all these very long hallways. <sighs> so much walking. And writing. So, what? What's going on over there? Kitty source, bird. Your Majesty, I have finally come to do what I was made for and deliver my jokes. This is my best back yet. I command you to leave and not tell any jokes. Oh no, baby, just murdered it. Oh. oh, they grow up so bad. Too bad she's about to get completely crushed. This is chaos. Chaos. Every single one of your orders. Why won't you give me that satisfaction one last time? All I want is to make you laugh. But you know what will happen if I laugh? I do. And I told myself time and time again that some things are more important than laughter. But I can't wait anymore. I need to make you laugh, even if just for a little bit. I can't be put aside again. I am nothing without a ruler to entertain. I am sorry. Your Majesty, tell me, what did the train conductor say to the kangaroo? Hop on! <laughs> that was terrible. Oh my god. Why are they called the naughty ones? Partially. It can only go down, but right now we have to escape this entire floor to anywhere else. Yeah, I ain't stopping. I ain't dealing with the naughty ones. Whoa, you're really close. We have a barrel lead now. He catches up pretty quickly. Hey, buddy. Everything we've worked so hard to build just ruined. I've let the other prisoners go, but grab this one. Things you know will definitely be. Make it down there alive. We need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. Madness? Shh. Yeah, we just skip. We go skip straight to six. Huh. Interesting. So, that's it for Garden of Banban episode four. So, the series is still not good and it seems like the developer has given up all pretenses of making a horror game they they, they have gone to parody because i mean choo choo charlie or whatever appeared and you could you could theoretically make a very dry surreal kind of parody game like it could work 
because some of the cutscenes are just kind of so bad it's funny kind of thing and I, I think there, there is some sauce there but you would just have to get rid of the the filler and the long hallways and the terrible puzzles that are just designed to stop you from refunding the game but the thing is they wouldn't have to refund it that would be a non-issue almost if essentially this game was not episodic and they also increased the price i believe with this one i think it's like ten dollars now in the world of indie games think of how many games cost ten dollars in comparison to this that are better but despite that this one was better than the last episode the last episode was awful it was like slightly tighter but you still had some of those sneak-ins um i think the the big reason this one's better is that they did go harder into the characters and like i said the characters aren't necessarily great but they're kind of like funny in a sea horror movie kind of way you know what i mean like where the line deliveries are just stiff um actually the vas actually weren't too bad the new ones anyway so if i had to rank it this one's actually better than two and triple i i put this behind the first the first one's still the best one because it's the shortest one and it's simple enough but that doesn't necessarily mean the game improved it's just more like there was less the bad things that's the simplest way to say it anyway so thank you all for watching play garden of Banban 4 i'll see you guys later and take it easy